In this video, I'm going to texture the oil lamp that I created last video. I've added a little top on here just for the fun of it. We'll see if I decide to keep that or not. So I'm going to texture this in Substance Painter, and I'm also going to let Substance Painter UV unwrap this, and we'll see how, how that goes, if we can make life easier. Why not, if it looks good? All right, so I'm going to select that. So I'm just going to focus just on, on that alone. All right, so there's my oil lamp. And uh, if I come over here, you can see there are no UV maps. Now, as you create this stuff, I mean, often uh, Blender will create a UV map. So you just make sure that they're all deleted. All right, so I'm going to export this now into Substance Painter. I'm going to choose 2048 and select it and press OK. And here you can see the automatic UV unwrapping by Substance Painter. So let's see how good a job it does. There's my lamp. Now I'm going to bake the textures. Texture set settings. Bake mesh maps. I'm going to choose 2048 and ID. Uh, uncheck that. Okay, there it is. We're ready to go. I'm going to choose the metal. And I think in materials, I'm going to try. I'm going to add this rust course. And I'm also going to add steel painted. I think I want that below. So there's the steel painted. I'm going to add a black mask. Let's try a generator. I'm not hitting that a lot. I think what I'll do is I'll come back to here. And I might make this more of a black color. I don't know. You can do whatever you want, really, but it looks pretty good. Now, there might be a seam on this thing, but I don't really see it, and so it's not going to be a problem uh, at all uh, for my scene. So I'm going to start with that and see if I like it. Now, to do the glass, there's a couple of things that we need to do. First of all, I'm going to click on that. I'm going to come over to the shader here, and for PBR Metal Rough, I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to come down here and choose PBR Metal Rough with Alpha Blending. All right, so we've got that. The other thing I'm going to need to do is come over to the texture settings, and scroll up, and you can see i got base color, height, roughness, metallic, normal. I'm going to click the plus, and I'm going to add opacity so that my glass can be transparent. Come back to the layers, I'll delete that. And on Smart Materials, I'm going to choose Search for Glass. I'll use this glass here. And there you can see it. Come back to the base color, to the properties. I'll come down here and I have Opacity. I'm going to slide that down a little bit. And I can see through my glass. Cool. Let's create some um, imperfections on here. Create a fill layer and a black mask. Let's try this. Uh, drag that on. That looks nice. Now the thing is, I may not actually use this uh, glass in Blender. I may do something else, but I'll show you how to take it into Blender. All right, that's that. Let's try this one. No. I don't like that one. Just a little bit here and there. We could, we could create another fill layer and black mask. We wanted to do it that way, and try something else. Maybe this one. I change the color on this one. 
to like a dark a block or something. All right, that looks cool. Come over here and I will activate temporal anti-aliasing just to make it look a little nicer. And that's what I've got. All right, Substance Painter unwrapped this for me. I didn't have to do anything. Easy to, to texture. Let's say we like that. All right, let's say we did. I've got my materials here, oil lamp glass, oil lamp metal. So now I need to export. Now, because I let Substance Painter UV unwrap this, I'm probably gonna have to export the mesh itself. That'll triangulate it and I'm okay with that. So I'm gonna do that and I'll do apply triangulation. I don't have any tessellation on there. So I'm gonna export that. And I'm going to call this uh, oil lamp texture video. All right, it's done that. Now I'm going to export the textures as well. I'm going to export them right to there. However, because I've got opacity, I can't just use this output template. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to choose where have I got it? this one. Now I've created this one here. Right here. And I added this opacity part. All right. And the way I did that was I just uh, created a new gray channel. And then I dragged opacity onto it and choose grayscale. And that's it. So I've got my two textures here. Here I am in Blender, and this is the original oil lamp. But because I let Substance Painter UV unwrap this, I want to bring in the exported mesh from Substance Painter. So let's do that. It was an FBX. Here it is. I'm just going to move it along a little bit. I'll put this into its own collection. I'll just call it lab for now. So it's easy to select. Okay, let's go in the shading editor. And I've got the two of them there, but uh, that may, maybe that'll be interesting to look at. Select a piece of the metal. Shift control T. Choose the metal. And you can see it shows up on here. Now, if I was to put that on here, because I'm using the old mesh. Where is it? It doesn't come through quite the same way. Okay, so I'm going to delete that stuff. And I'm going to use this one. Now let's try this one. Shift Control T. I get this stuff, but I also need the opacity. We don't have that yet. The way I'm going to do this is I'm going to drag that out. I'm going to add shader, big shader, and drop that in here. I'm going to add another shader, transparent. Plug that in there. And I'm going to add the image texture, which is the opacity map from Substance Painter. Right there, opacity. And I'm going to color, connect that. All right. Now, let's come down to the materials. I'm going to choose Alpha Blend. 
green space. I can see through it. Maybe I'll do that. See through that a little bit. Okay. Let's see which one I want. I'll look at that. Once again, that's the glass that I may not be using. Let's select that and move it along here. Alright, see the wallpaper through there? Okay, now I'm going to be doing something different with the uh, lighting uh, in here. I'm putting some light, and I, I may decide that I want a translucent glow on this. Uh, so that was just, I just wanted to show you the, the glass there. But uh, that's what that would look like. All right, so it's in my scene now. And uh, we'll continue with more stuff very soon.